Uh, welcome back to Cookmentary. Today I'm going to be making a goat hot pot. Uh, it's my first time making it, so uh, we'll see how it goes. It is my mom's recipe. Uh, it's pretty bomb, so I hope I, I do it some justice. So let's get started. So first, uh, we're just going to dice the onion a bit. Uh, we don't have to dice it too uh, small because we're going to put it through the food processor. All right, now we're going to dice some uh, ginger. Then we're going to mince some um, garlic. Cooking wine and the main ingredient, the goat. So we're going to pour some cooking wine in there uh, and the purpose is just to really clean the meat. Clean the meat and get rid of, uh, I guess, goat smell, as my mom would say. Right, after you're done, just transfer it over to another bowl. Alright, and now we're gonna mix. So we're gonna put in some lemongrass. Put in the onion and ginger mix that we need. Probably a bit much, so we'll put in the whole thing. And then we'll mix, put in some of the garlic. Next, uh, this is a bean curd mix. If you guys can see that okay uh, and this one has a spice to it you could probably pick one without a spice but I like it with a little bit of spice maybe just two spoonfuls and then some of the sauce some peanut butter. All right, and then we mix. Alright, so next we're going to start cooking the goat. Uh, so one very important thing uh, that my mom said is to make sure that you have a pot of boiling water. Uh, since when you transfer from here, you're going to make sure that you want to transfer it into a boiling water, pot of water already. So we're going to turn on this. Put a little bit of oil. Wait for that to heat up a little bit. In goes the mix. All right, and the goal of this is really just to make sure to get some color, cook the meat a little bit, uh, but most of the cooking is going to be done in the pot itself. Here again, we just want to make sure that we get some uh, nice color so that it looks like it's uh, cook-ish on the outside before we transfer it into the pot. All right, so I think it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna do slightly less since uh, my mom did it with three pounds and I did about two pounds. So I think the meat looks pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna transfer it over to the uh, hot water.
So we're gonna let it boil um, so that uh, we can scoop out some of the, I guess, dirt or uh, some of the foam and dirt. Um, and then we're gonna let it simmer on half heat for as long as you can, maybe two, three hours or so. Uh, so I'll show you guys once we get there. You can see some of the uh, top layer that you should get out. And then just let it cook for probably two, three hours until the meat is very tender. Uh, you can go longer, uh, the longer it is, uh, the more tender the meat. All right guys, so let's show you guys the finished product. So usually with my parents, uh, we just eat with noodles, spinach, and uh, enoki mushrooms, but stuff. Uh, but I have beef ball, spam, uh, some lamb, and pork that I need to take out of the fridge. But here's what it looks like. That's the spread. That's the meat. I don't know if I have some small pieces here. Super tender. Let's give it a taste. Holy cow, that's good. All right, well, I hope you guys try it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Take care.